welcome to my channel. If you want to learn more about the basics of aerospace engineering, then you clicked the right video. Here I will give short lessons in aerospace engineering. So let's start with our very first lesson. We will start with the aero part of aerospace engineering. What do you think is the most important part of the aircraft? You might think that it's the engine or the wing. And it turns out it's the wing because without the engine, the correctly designed aircraft can still fly and land safely. Yeah, I can fly. But without the wing, it will crash. And before we delve into more complex topics, first we need to learn the language of aerospace engineering or any engineering for that matter. And the language is the terminology, all the terms that we use to describe something. So today, since we're talking about aero, we will start describing the terminology of the wing, or we will call them wing parameters. So let's look at a generic wing. It might look something like this. Forgive my drawing abilities. And the wing usually has two views. One is from the top and another one from the side, which will look like this. This is also called the profile of the wing. So let's focus on the top view of the wing first. And I will make a drawing bigger. So this is the top view of the wing. And I drew it better, as you can see. First thing that we notice about the wing is the wingspan or the width of the wing from one end to another. And the wingspan is denoted by little letter B. And the second parameter that we also see right away from the top is the area of the wing. And the area is denoted by capital letter S. The wing area is also sometimes called the wing planform. And do you think that the wingspan and the wing area are related? Yes, they are. And the relation is described through a term called aspect ratio. It is also a parameter of the wing. Let's write it down. Aspect ratio is denoted by capital a capital R together and it equals to B squared divided by capital letter S and aspect ratio is a very important parameter because it determines the stability and maneuverability of the aircraft we will solve a problem about aspect ratio in the next video and you will see how aspect ratio differs for different aircraft now let's continue looking at the wing and we describe this edge here as leading edge and it's denoted by capital letter L and capital E and it's called leading edge because this is the first edge of the wing that hits the airstream when the aircraft is flying and guess how the second edge is called? It's called trailing edge and denoted by capital T, capital E. So this just means the edge that follows the leading edge. And another important parameter is the distance between the leading edge and the trailing edge. And this distance is called the chord and denoted by small letter C. And you can see that chord changes its length from this side of the wing to the middle. And the smallest chord is called tip chord and it's denoted by little c sub t, c subscript t. And the chord that goes through the middle of the wing is denoted by c sub r and r stands for root chord. 
And this wing configuration is true for most aircraft, but not all of them. There are aircraft that have completely rectangular wings, so for them there's only one cord. But for most aircraft, the cord changes its length from the root to the tip. And this change is called the taper, and it's denoted by lambda, and it is equal to CT divided by CR. So when you see most of the wings, they, they are called the tapered wing. So these are the basics of wing parameters from the top view. Now let's go to the side view. From the side, the wing will look like this. And what do we mean from the side? This means if we cut the wing at some point, we will see a shape like this. And it's also called the airfoil or the profile of the wing. And we will see later that airfoils are different for different aircraft depending on their purpose and maneuverability and how much lift you want to produce and so on. But for now, we are learning just the parameters of the airfoil. So which parameter here is the same as from the top view that we looked at before? You probably guessed that it's the length of the airfoil, which will be the width of the wing from the top view, and it's called the cord, right? Here is the leading edge and the trailing edge. But when we look at a wing from the side, we also need to denote the velocity with which the aircraft is flying or the air that's coming in at the aircraft. So imagine an aircraft is flying and it has some speed in this direction, which we call V. But in aerodynamics, we denote this in the opposite direction. So we assume that the wing is stationary and the air is coming at it with some velocity. So essentially this velocity will be the same as the one with which the aircraft is flying. But in aerodynamics we just, it's easier to denote it like this and we say that it's V infinity or the free stream velocity. And we call this V infinity or free stream because we want to study the air properties around the wing, but far from its surface. Because when air gets closer to the surface of the wing at high speeds, the air will heat up, it will feel the friction from the surface of the wing, and many other properties of the air will change. It will become more viscous, it will have vortices. So we do not want to study that for now. And we just assume that the air has V infinity around the wing. And we do not get close to the surface of the wing. How close do we have to get? I'm not sure. For the purpose of this class. All right, and the last parameter is the angle of attack, which means it's the angle between the free stream velocity and the profile of the wing or the airfoil. Angle of attack is also an important parameter, which we'll see in a later video. And depending on the angle of attack, the aircraft can get more or less lift or no lift at all, which means stalling. So in modern aircraft, pilots have a software system installed on the onboard control system, which limits the angles of attack that they can go to, especially in passenger aircraft. So even if the pilot wants to go higher, he cannot do that because it will not be safe. And we will have another whole video dedicated to angle of attack and how it changes and affects the lift. So this is it for today's lesson. And if you want to solve a problem about the aspect ratio, then click subscribe because this will be the topic of the next video. And in the following videos, I will keep posting mini lessons in aerospace engineering that help you refresh what you have learned or learn something new. See you!